Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert with the sixth and last of this series of tutorials on folder tracks. Now, folder tracks, as we've seen, that really useful, very rational uh, implementation of a set of features that most of which you could do in other ways in Pro Tools, but some of them felt a little bit like workarounds. Now, they don't really replace any of the things that we might have used in their place previously. For example, there's a lot of overlap between routing folders and uh, auxiliary inputs. Routing folders don't replace auxiliary inputs. There's very much still a place for them. But uh, some of the uses, quite a lot of the uses that I've been putting auxiliary inputs to for submixing, I've now switched over to uh, routing folders and I'm finding it more convenient because it combines that functionality along with the session organizational stuff that's also available in basic folders that I might previously have done using track show hide memory locations. Now, of course, they don't replace memory locations either. They're way more useful than that. But it brings it together into a way that's more logical and certainly I'd feel more comfortable explaining to a new user than these kind of workarounds that have developed over all the time that Pro Tools has been around. That organizational stuff, really, really useful. I mean, I'm going to kind of refer back to something from a previous tutorial, but uh, if you want to uh, do some basic folder organization, of course, you can folder stuff from here or use a shortcut or particularly in this track sidebar, you can use the disclosure triangles and adding the modifiers like option to collapse the entire structure or uh, and to unfold, unfolder the, the folder structure. Uh, if you add option, you can uh, do the same thing, but all on the same layer. And uh, adding option and command, you can do that same layer and everything below it, for example. But what happens about integration between Pro Tools and Yukon? Until recently, there hasn't been an implementation that supports folder tracks in Yukon, but there is now. And if you're using the app, the control app, then uh, there's some useful stuff you can do. Of course, if you're using an S1 or an S6 or an S4 or something, there are specific features that are relevant to you, but I'm not going to touch on those here. But in the app, uh, what we've got is, I mean, they show up, like you'd imagine, as tracks in the mixer. Coming back over here, for example, here I've got my uh, my backline folder, which has got absolutely everything in it, <laughs> pretty much. And if I tap on the folder button here, which is a new addition, and that's collapsed everything down into that folder, tap it again, and it opens up like you'd imagine. Uh, if I were to maybe come over here and uh, got a lot of stuff going on in the drums, for example, I've got two snare tracks, which I can unfold or folder. I'm, I'm not sure what verb I'm trying to use here. Unfold, unfolder. Um, and uh, same for the kick stuff over here. Works like you'd imagine. Now, in the context of all the other tracks in this, that might not be the way I want to go, but you can filter if you want to. You can filter in here and f filter to just show folder tracks. And if that's what you're interested in doing here, things have become a lot easier to, to deal with here. I'm just showing my folder tracks. So over here, for example, I've got my guitars folder, and I can show and hide those, and we can see... Those acoustics are showing and hiding in the sidebar. If I come down here, we can see exactly what's going on from here. Acoustics. Now you see them, now you don't. This is great, and I kind of like it, but I'm sort of reluctant to put over the mixer window and filter just by folder track, and I'm not really that happy working, uh, working on the mixer from there. You don't need to. If you go to the tracks view, now normally I use the tracks view for soloing. So, for example, uh, if I come over here and uh, I solo up my uh, drums and percussion, and I've got an exclusive all on there, so if I were to come over here and I wanted to, say, listen to my acoustics, and this is a, it's a really nice way to work, and it's what I tend to use it for quite a lot. But there is a new addition, as well as record and mute and all that, we've got open. And for folder tracks, that's really handy, because now, just by... Uh, tapping on the relevant folder, I can fold or unfold, I'm struggling with verbs again, uh, the uh, the relevant track. So here, for example, if I tap on the kit folder, that's spilling out its contents like you'd imagine. Now, of course, I can do the same thing again. If I wanted to, I could uh, filter to just show the folder tracks, and then I've got a really nice amounts of control over what's showing and what isn't showing which is exactly what I was trying to do in the mixer view, but I kind of like it this way. Nothing wrong with doing it in the mixer view, and of course you've still then got access to the faders, which for routing folders is really handy. 
So this is kind of the last piece of the puzzle for me, uh, integrating Yukon and the app or a control surface, if you're a control surface user, into folder tracks and controlling levels and visibility within your Pro Tools session using folder tracks.